Hi everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. These, I have two projects and they're for the I Am Roses Open DT Call. You don't have to do a video, but I am just so um, I can share what I made. I've had this actually done for quite a few weeks um, because obviously, you know, I knew the DT Call was coming up, but I couldn't say anything. Um, so anyway, it's been sitting there waiting and um, now I get to show it. So these are some salt and pepper shakers and a candy dish I found at a secondhand store and I altered them. I was doing that quite a bit. I have another set over there that I did that I'll show you. Um, and I used a lot of the Carla's mesh, silver bling mesh, mesh, this stuff and just cut the strips off and added them and then I used um, I got a big bag of bling from Joann's and there was two sizes these bigger ones and then these smaller ones I need to get another bag too I'm getting low um, and then I used my very very favorite flowers um, from I Am Roses I love these flowers because they are just perfect um, I'll take some out and show you the, the quality of these is, is just gorgeous. They're not too big and bulky. They take color well. They, um, I added Lindy's to them. And they are just beautiful. And the item number is, um, let's see if it's on camera, R21630. My favorite, favorite flowers. I've gone through so many packs of those. And so I, I also added them to this tray. I found this tray at the second hand store too. It's a little scratched up, but you know, not, not a big deal to me. Um, so this can be used as either like a vanity set. You can put some cotton swabs, um, some makeup wedges, some powder puffs, um, and then put like some lotion in these or some perfumes or some vitamin E oil um, and have it as a little vanity set. Or you can have this in your bathroom and add some bath salts, bath beads. You can add some um, shower gels to these. Um, and actually you can use it in a dining room too and use this like a sugar bowl, salt and pepper shaker. The possibilities are endless. It just depends on where you want this. You can also just have it as a display. Um, and this was really fun uh, to make and very easy. I'm going to move this tray out of the way so the reflection is gone. And give you a little close up. So, on the salt and pepper shaker, I took the little um, tops off and added these crystal baubles. And then I just glued, I, I tried to use glossy accents and it just wouldn't stick, it wouldn't stay. So I had to use hot glue on these. Um, but you're going to want to reinforce this if you want to wash this with something like the um, SOTAC or some type of waterproof um, adhesive. Um, and then I added some of this beautiful Chinese braid. And then, of course, my favorite, I Am Roses flowers. I love these. And then this is just a little, um, I think it was Kane Company, um, little embellishment there. And I did the same thing on this one. And I have a before and after picture, too, I'll put, um, I'll add here. And then here, the lid. I added the same embellishments and some blings around here. I also added little blings to each petal on the roses and some flat back pearls around here and on the top. And then on the base, I added some of my favorite lace here. And then um, this is some of the Recollection Sticky Bling. And of course, I used hot glue to adhere that. And so I will take some photos of this. And I'll show you the other set I made real quick. It's not part of my I Am Roses DT projects, but my daughter is in love with these. I may have to give them to her. We'll have to see. So, um, one of my aunts, one of my husband's aunts, sends us these really pretty, like, crystal um, clocks and dishes and stuff every year for Christmas. Um, so I just decided to embellish it with some of my I Am Roses and um, some of these really pretty blings and then some Rena bling 
And then this is the Recollection Sticky Back Bling too, but it's pink. So there's the clock. And then here's this. This is kind of like a, um, well, my daughter would probably use this for like, um, bath salts or something and put it in her bathroom, I'm sure, her vanity. And then I um, embellish the top there. And then I don't know what she would put in here. Whatever she wants, I guess. But, so there's the other set that I made. And here's the front. And then I made this um, embellishment out of these pink blings and a, um, a Swarovski crystal. Okay, I'm going to grab my other project and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my second project. Um, and this is a vanity um, fan I made for my daughter for her room. Uh, she can um, just hang this up on the wall or I made a stand for it. And I'll show you how I created this fan. I took two pieces of 12 by 12 um, designer paper that was in this beautiful stack. It's the Susan Wingett Specialty Paper uh, Botanical. Botanical, I think is what it's called. And um, I scored it every ha half inch. And then I took these popsicle sticks like this and I put them in my cutter and I cut them in half, or I just scored them. This one was messed up because I didn't score it in the middle. But anyway, I scored it down the center, and then I, and then I popped them apart and squared off one edge for down at the bottom here. Um, and then every other, I hot glued the stick inside every other crease. And then down at the bottom here, I glued them all together. I don't know if it's showing up. Right there. I glued them all together. And then, so that it would have a stand, so she could either stand it um, on a tabletop, or I put a little hook so she could hang it up, whatever she wants to do. I just cut this out of chipboard and then scored it here and added a ribbon right here so it wouldn't go any further than that. So it can stand just like this on a vanity or a nightstand or whatever she wants to put it on. So after um, creating the fan, then I brought out some of my favorite I Am Roses and some of my favorite trims and laces. Um, and these mirrors, I got these at Joann's and it's a five pack of mirrors. I don't think they were very much. Um, and I added these beautiful blue toned roses. They went perfectly with the paper. And they are item number R40276. And I also used some of these two toned um, petals uh, in between the flowers and down here. And those are ZQL5 700. And I used a spray right here. I added some flowers to the spray. These are added. But here's the spray. And that is SP2. And then I added some of these semi-open roses. And that um, number is T25. Um, and then here's some really pretty lace I got at Walmart. It's just on a spool like this. And some of this right here, this is the Silverina Mesh Bling. And it comes like this, and I just um, cut strips off and adhered them on the fan. And uh, I also used the thin Silverina Bling that's just in the strand, like this. And um, went across the top there and across the bottom here. And I used those same blings I got at Joann's these ones um, to embellish the flowers and some of the lace here. And I put some trim around this mirror and added the blings here as well. And then I added a feather boa along the back on the, on the sides and on the back. This was a really fun project to make because I did, you know, hand make all of it. It's, you know, it's not a fan that I altered. It's actually a fan that I made. 
I also added a bunch of ribbons and uh, pearl strands down here at the bottom. So if she does hang it up, it's got the some strands hanging. And I had a lot of fun making this, and I may do a tutorial or a Ustream on, on this someday. It's very easy to make, and it makes a beautiful um, piece in your room. You could also add a, a photo frame to this and add pictures or even add like three photo frames in here and put this on display, you know, and not add the boa. I don't really like to work a lot with feathers because they can get dusty and and they can start to look dingy real easy. But I just thought this project needed it. It really made this pop. I just want to give a big thank you to everybody on the team for this term. I want to give a huge thank you to Arlene. She really pulled through pulled this design team together, got it um, organized. She did an amazing job and she gives and gives and gives and gives and I hope she knows how much she is loved and appreciated um, just because she is. Also I want to thank Bona, Zoe, Sandy, Joe, Rena, um, Maria, um, I'm going back to at the Facebook group to make sure I don't miss anybody. <laughs> Um, I, uh, Mar Marisa is her name. And of course, Jenny Marie 99. I love you, girl. And I, sh I really miss you. And Carla. Um, this was an amazing, fun team, uh, full of lovely, bubbly, happy, friendly girls. So I'm sure gonna miss you, girls. And, um, I'm excited to see the new team. I'm so excited. Um, good luck to everybody. Come on now. Everybody get in there. Make some stuff and enter. You know, come on. There's nothing holding you back. It's just an email. You don't make it, you don't make it. If you make it, you make it. Come on now. All right. So everybody, thank you for watching and looking at my creations and always supporting me and being a subscriber and um, just for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. Till next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.